Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Around the House. Today we are going to do a review slash overview of the Cuisinart coffee maker. This is a 12 cup coffee maker. The model is a DCC 3850TG. It's Tango, Georgia, I guess. <laughs> but uh, anyway, just a uh, quick overview. Uh, over here we have the clock. And if I can zoom in on this a little bit, this is the auto on once you have it programmed. Uh, bold, which makes the coffee uh, hotter so it uh, brews the coffee. Uh, this would be on and off. And if you're doing one to four cups, you would hit uh, this button and then the clean button, which is self explanatory for clean. Uh, when you open up the lid, coffee grounds go here and then over here we have the uh, charcoal filter and then you would fill the water in either side uh, when you're filling it uh, it's easier to use a picture and I go around to the other side as I do this because it's a, a little bit tricky holding the camera and doing this at the same time. Uh, over on the side, it tells you how much water that you're putting in. So I'm doing this with two hands, so bear with me. So as I pour in the water, I'm watching how many cups I'm putting in. And this is a 12 cupper, so I'm going to do the max. And then we are at 12 cups. And as you can see, maybe it's a little bit darker here. And above that, it's lighter. Uh, but you can see it pretty well without the camera. Uh, using the camera, not so much. So I wanted to take out these coffee grounds. I wasn't prepared as much as I thought I was. Uh, this is a number four filter that this takes. And then this has to be all the way down in place. Uh, then you put the metal craft in. And the reason why I wanted this coffee pot is because of the metal craft. Uh, it tends to keep the coffee hotter. I took a temperature of it earlier today and after about five hours of after uh, brewing a cup of coffee um, the coffee came out of the craft at uh, about 120 degrees so the time on here right now is 154 so I'm going to turn the coffee pot on and whenever you turn anything on the blue light would come on so if you do the auto, the blue light would come on on auto. Uh, if you had the bold light on, uh, the uh, bold light would be on. And so, on. so that's uh, one minute or uh, 155 on the clock right now. So I'll go ahead and fast forward this. And when the coffee pot is done, I'll start it back up and you'll see how long it took to brew the coffee. I'll do the temperature of uh, the coffee uh, after it is done. Uh, one thing that I did notice uh, in the directions, it, it comes with a scoop and you're supposed to use one scoop which uh, per cup. So if you have a 12 cupper you need uh, 12 scoops and that just seems like a lot of coffee. My old coffee pot, uh, I did one scoop for every two cups of coffee. Um, that was a 10 cupper. So I'd use uh, five scoops for 10 cups. Now I have to use uh, 12 scoops for 12 cups. So definitely going through a lot more coffee. And I'm not sure I like that, nor do I know the reason why. Um, I'm almost thinking the way the filter was, maybe a little bit more narrow. Uh, and then on this coffee pot, let me just lift this for one second as it's brewing. Um, you can see it, it has a very large surface where the water would come out 
where all the other coffee cups or coffee pots that uh, I have owned was just a smaller circle, maybe the size of a silver dollar. So it, the coffee was more focused than spread out through all the coffee grounds. So that could be a good reason why it takes more, co more coffee to uh, brew a cup of coffee. Um, one other thing that, or one thing that I really don't like about this coffee pot is whenever you're filling it from the top, you definitely have to use some type of a pitcher because on the craft itself, uh, it, uh, the, the way that these crafts work, you really have to turn the craft upside down as you're pouring uh, water in to fill the coffee pot. And I'll show you that once it's done brewing. So I'll go ahead and pause this or uh, just do a fast forward so you can watch the time actually. Uh, right now it's at 157. We started out at 155, and uh, once it's done brewing, then I'll go to regular speed and we'll see what's going on. All right, just slow this down for a minute here. Uh, so we're five minutes into it, and we have seven and a half cups of coffee left to be brewed. So that's four and a half cups of coffee that uh, has already been brewed in five minutes. All right, so this is uh, almost done. We're at 10 minutes into it. I just played another cup of coffee that needs to be brewed. So while this is finishing up, I'll uh, just take the camera back a little bit. Uh, the coffee filter that you need, oops, is the number four. It's called the cone style, which you know looks like this. Uh, the other coffee makers kind of have the uh, the, uh, the flat bottom, but this takes the cone style. And I touch base with the uh, uh, filter, the paper filter uh, has, has a special uh, insert where if you don't use the paper filter, you can put the coffee grounds into the screen. I've tried using these type of things before, but it tends to make a mess. It's hard to clean, get coffee grounds everywhere, so I don't ever use uh, that type of filter. Uh, the craft itself, it's uh, stainless steel. And I'm going to take some measurements of this crap as uh, uh, I open up the uh, lid to take a temperature setting of the, uh, the water. Because uh, I think that's an important part is how hot is the coffee. Uh, maybe later on down the road, uh, as the coffee pot gets older, I'll take a temperature of how uh, hot a, a cup of coffee was brewed. But I had this uh, probably three weeks now. And... Uh, it, it does make very hot coffee. Uh, I use uh, milk in my coffee and uh, just a splash of milk and it it's definitely makes a hot cup of coffee. Uh, so w once it's done, uh, you can set it up to have a tone or no tone and that's just by hitting this button right here. Uh, it's a button that says tone. So if uh, you don't want the tone uh, to wake anybody up if you're automatically making coffee, uh, you could uh, shut that off. So it's just about done. It's at uh, uh, 2.07. So it took uh, about 12 minutes, 11 and a half minutes or so to uh, make 12 cups of coffee. So it's about a minute a cup, uh, which is uh, fairly fast as it gets older. Uh, they don't work as efficiently as they do when they're brand new. So, uh, all right, so I'll go ahead and take out the coffee cup or coffee pot. And... Two up. All right, so that was the tone that says that the coffee is, is done. So to open up the craft, you turn this and the lid comes off. And I will put in my thermometer. It's at 160, 180. Mm 
I would say about 185 degrees. That's about just about done climbing. And if you could see it, it cools off fast. But uh, 180, it cools off fast when I pull it out of the craft. But uh, 185 degrees, which is you know, very hot for uh, an instant coffee pot. So you put the lid back on, put it on, and you turn it clockwise, and then the lid is secure again. Um, there's no closing the uh, coffee pot from pouring. Uh, the coffee will uh, pour into this area, and then it'll feed through. Uh, down into here and that's where the coffee goes in when you pour it the coffee goes up here and then out here and then out the spout so with that said if you can imagine let me get my tape measure from here to here as you would normally pour you're looking at about one and three quarter inches that you have to tilt the craft to get the water out and then after that you got to get it I don't know if you can even see this hole you got to get the water to here to pour out to uh, pour a cup of coffee so you can imagine whenever you start running low on coffee when you get down to the last couple cups you're actually uh, flipping the coffee pot uh, so much more so if you compare it with a regular pitcher, where when you pour anything, it goes right to here, where if you're using this coffee pot, the actual hole is about an inch and a half, almost an uh, inch and three quarters back. So you would really have to turn the coffee pot uh, a lot. So let me see if I could uh, set this up so you can see how it pours. So here I have a cup of coffee, or a coffee cup, and this coffee cup is about two cups, and I just did this with water. So you can see the angle is not too bad when you're pouring a cup of coffee. I'm going to take this and just dump it into here. And then we'll go to the second cup. And notice the angle that I have to pour for consistency. Uh, I did read the reviews. It said that it used to do a lot of um, uh, spilling onto the counter. There's nothing being sp spilled as I pour this. Uh, my old one used to spill as I poured it from my first cup to my last cup. I didn't like it at all. Uh, but as far as pouring, uh, it doesn't uh, have noticeable spillage. So here I am on my third cup so we're uh, just right around nine cups into it and notice the angle is getting steeper and steeper to pour a cup of coffee And you can see the angle of this coffee pot. You almost have to turn it at a crazy angle to get to the end of the uh, the pot. So now I'm going to pour probably the last cup that would go in here. And then you can still get a little bit more out, but almost upside down. It's really crazy, the design. But maybe they do that because of the 
uh, craft to keep the water, you know, the hottest, the longest. So uh, that gets about all the coffee out of there that, that you can. And then uh, once again, to take the lid off, you turn it counterclockwise. You can still see there's coffee down at the bottom. Um, probably about a cup of coffee, if, if I were to guess. And let me just see if I can pour the rest of that in there without the lid. Uh, maybe about a half a cup of coffee. But you know, I could do a measuring cup if I uh, really needed to, but you get the idea. So, uh, uh, like, like I said earlier, after about five hours after coffee is brewed, it does uh, hold temperature to about 120 degrees. And then whenever the uh, coffee is done being brewed, the temperature of the coffee is about 185 degrees. So it does lose about 50 degrees over a five hour period of time, uh, which is, you know, a lot. But once it's done being brewed, brewed, you're not running the coffee pot to keep the coffee hot and it's not burning the coffee. So the first cup is as good as the last cup, just not as hot. So hopefully you like this video. Uh, please like and subscribe. And uh, I will do uh, more videos like this if you have anything in particular that you would like to see being reviewed, let me know.